them one and all to the biggest, the baddest, prime time competition on earth. We've got a brand new arena, brand new gladiators, brand new events, and Layla even has a brand new baby on the way. That's right, Hope, and we cannot wait for all the action. Last January, Gladiator Mania swept the nation. That's what I'm talking about. Over 68 million viewers tuned in to watch a new breed of American gladiators take on contenders in the ultimate test of stamina. Goodbye! Was I a little mean that time? Strength. Where are you going, son? And heart. That's an American gladiator. And now the wait is over. That's the real deal, baby. Thousands turned up for our nationwide casting call wanting a piece of gladiator action. From the diehard I'm getting married today. to the delusional. They all wanted a chance at glory, but only 40 contenders were deemed worthy. This is the first time since I lost my leg that I've played tackle football. They'll have to overcome insurmountable odds. I have a six-year-old daughter, I was a single mom, put myself through school, worked two jobs, so this is all for her. I was born deaf, and being deaf is everything. My mother, she's always been telling me, like, don't let nobody tell you that you can't do something. Don't worry, your favorite gladiators are back to prove once again they are the fiercest warriors in the world. We're turning it up a notch! We have added eight new members to the team, including last season's champions, Monica and Evan, and the biggest, baddest beast of them all. And if that's not enough, your favorite challenges are even bigger and tougher. We have seven brand new events that will see the contenders fly, race, and swing around every corner of our new state-of-the-art arena. All that before they take on the largest energy-sapping eliminator assembled with new obstacles. No joke, baby. And yes, it all ends up at the Travelator. More contenders, more gladiators, more events, plus something new every week in the biggest gladiator arena ever built. It all starts now. season premiere of the new American Gladiators, and the crowd is going wild as the men prepare for their opening event. First up, construction worker Randy Haynes. My name is Randy Haynes. I am 25 years old. I am from Chicago, Illinois, and I do construction for a living. I have two beautiful children, and I have 13 brothers and sisters. This is your new American Gladiator. Yeah. I get my competitive nature from my siblings. My mother's been raising children since she was 16 years old. She's given her entire life to us. We may not have much money, but we're rich in spirit. We're rich Ain't in that? spirit. I would dedicate this to my wife, for somebody who's willing to sacrifice whatever she needs so I can have whatever I want. Listen, gladiators, just because you got all those muscles and all that nah, going on, look out, because I'm going to run around you. Randy will be going up against SWAT team leader, Jay Martinez. Hi, my name is Jay Martinez. I'm 40 years old. I'm from Perth Amboy, New Jersey, and I'm a police officer and a SWAT team member. SWAT takes a special individual. There's no turning back. Bang that door and you go. For me, it's an adrenaline rush like nothing else in the world, man. I want to compete against the best. I want to go up against these big boys and show them what a Jersey kid can do. Now, I respect all, but I fear none. This kid's all about challenges, and that's what I want. The first event that Randy and Jay will face is one of the many new events to Gladiator Arena. This is Rocket Ball. All right, let's rock this Gladiator Arena. Rocket Ball is the first of many new events we're unleashing this season here in our Gladiator Arena. 
Randy, how does it feel to finally be standing here in our Gladiator Arena, brother? It feels absolutely fantastic! Well, big man, I know this is real important to your 12 brothers and sisters and the rest of your family. That's what I'm here for, that's what I'm here to make proud, and that's why I'm gonna keep on fighting. I'm gonna take this thing and be the next American Gladiator! Whoa, do your thing, brother. Now, Jay, let me tell you something, dude. It's both gladiators against you guys. It's free form up there. Are you ready to fight back when you're sky high? Absolutely, and guess what? I believe I can fly. I love it, man. Well, I know two more tough guys who don't give the smiles up that easy. Wolf and our very own flying toa. Fly to the sky! Here's how Rocket Ball works. Contenders and gladiators will hit those red buttons to launch themselves towards the baskets. While the contenders try to score high in the sky, the gladiators will be doing whatever it takes to stop them. One point for each ball that's scored in the yellow basket and two points for each ball in the red basket. Mm. Are the contenders ready? Mm. Gladiators ready? Oh. Three, two, one. Best strategy in rocket ball, the timing of your launch. Ooh, Jay scores the first point. He got the ball in the yellow basket. There goes Randy. Oh. Jay with the slam dunk, he's got two. Randy with his first point. Slipped it in past Wolf's defense. Wow! In and out for Jay. Tough break. Denied by Wolf. Toa eyeballing Jay. Wow! I love this event. Oh, there's Randy with the second point in the yellow basket. These guys are flying all over the place. Wow! Randy, never let it go. They're running out of time. Woo. One last attempt for Randy. No, knocked away by Walt. Yeah, nice try, Jay. Way after the buzzer, kid. Woo! My goodness. Can we go again? Here's another look at our first taste of rocket ball. Randy's family feeling good after one event as their contender is tied at two with Jay. Now it's time to meet our female contenders. Up first, firefighter Elena Miskalik. My name is Elena Miskalik. I'm 22 years old from Foster City, California. I'm a firefighter for San Jose Fire. I was born in the Kiev, which is the capital of the Ukraine. When I was about two months old, Chernobyl occurred, which was a radiological explosion about uh, 100 kilometers from where we lived from. My parents decided to immigrate to the States. When you come from another country, you really appreciate that. If you have an opportunity here, you can accomplish whatever you want. Эта украинская девочка покажет вам, что я могу сделать. Смотрите сюда, и я вам все покажу. Elena will be competing against martial arts instructor Melissa Trinidad. My name is Melissa Trinidad. I'm 30 years old. I'm from Brandon, Florida. I'm a mixed martial arts instructor for children. I have a six-year-old daughter, Malaya. She is the love of my life. She's my inspiration. I was a single mom with her and put myself through school, worked two jobs. So this is all for her. I could say my biggest asset is that I'm the total package. I might be small, but I'm powerful. I'm explosive. I'm nimble. I'm just going to knock them dead. They're not going to even know it's coming. They won't even see it. For their first event, the women will take on Pyramid. Let's go down to the floor where Layla is with the ladies. Now, Melissa, out of thousands who showed up, you were one of the smallest hopefuls to try out for our nationwide contender auditions. How are you feeling now? I feel great. You know, my size is a total advantage. I'm a surprise contender. You can expect the unexpected for me. I'm ready to explode, baby. 
Now, Elena, we just heard your amazing story a moment ago. You've been through a lot in the last 22 years. You think you've learned anything that'll help you up there? You know, I learned a ton, and part of that's perseverance, endurance, and never giving up. I've got a great background here. I'm happy to be an American, and I'm happy to do it. Ow! All right, now it's time to find out who's gonna be standing in your way. All right, Elena, you're gonna be colliding with Crush. Quite a challenge for Elena because Crush is undefeated as a gladiator. And Melissa, you're about to get a taste of Venom. Melissa also in for a challenge because Venom is undefeated in Pyramid. Are the contenders ready? Yeah. Gladiators ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Stick and stay, much more on the way for season two. More new games and more new gladiators. It's all next. Welcome back to Gladiator Arena where the action is just beginning. The women now ready to take on Pyramid. Are the contenders ready? Yeah. Gladiators ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Ten points to the first contender who can make it to the top of Pyramid. <coughs> Crush, too strong for Elena. Oh, nice move by Melissa trying to use the screen, but Venom is not fooled. Look at Elena trying to hang in there, but Crush with the crushing takedown. Elena right back to her feet. Ooh, big hit by Crush. Eight seconds left, eight seconds. Time running out on the ladies. Total domination by the Gladiator. Here's another look at Venom and Crush at work. Okay, ladies, you both were trying really hard, like I see that, but neither of you made it. Now, you look like you were trying to use your speed up there. You're trying to get to the top, but then Venom got you. I think it's the law of gravity, not that she was any faster than me, but she definitely had the height advantage because she was above me. I think if I had five more seconds, five points definitely would have been mine. Well, it definitely looks like you ladies gave it all you got. Good job. After one round, the ladies continue in their search for their first points. Let's head across the arena as the men take on a classic event that's now twice as big. Hang Tough. Hang Tough is our own diabolical combination of strategy and strength. Randy, can you score some points, brother? I got seven words for you, Hope. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Wolf. His bite is just as bad as his bark as we take a look at his Subway Gladiator stat sheet. Wolf's favorite event is Hang Tough because when he's face to face with a contender, he says he can see their soul leave their body. This little piggy hit to Last me. season, Wolf gave us four of the most memorable Hang Tough takedowns. For more Subway stats, including the Gladiator's favorite subs, go to NBC.com. Is the contender ready? Buddy, you ready? Three, two, one. Randy will have 60 seconds to try to make it to the opposite platform to score 10 points. Already in trouble. Wolf's, oh, Randy broke free of the wolf claw. Impressive by Randy. Randy's close, but Wolf is stalking his prey. If Randy can stay dry and in the blue ring scoring zone, he can still pick up five points. Wolf trying to beat the clock. Bye, son. Oh! 
That was too close to call. This one will have to be reviewed. Check every tape you've got. Every single one will show down. You decide. Here's another look. Without a doubt, that's the toughest hang tough we've ever seen here, brother. But because you were so tough, you got five big points, brother. And Big Dog, you made it with only a half of a second to spare. How does it feel? It feels absolutely fantastic. It feels absolutely fantastic. That's what it's all about. That's what I'm here for. That's what I came to do. And I'm glad I made it happen. Yeah, happy birthday, son, because that's the only present you're going to get this year. All right, guys, let's hear it for Randy Mania, brothers. Yeah! Randy taunting Walt. I don't think that's a good idea there, Randy. That's what it's all about. Hey, the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight and the dog. Now it's time for our SWAT leader. Well, Jay, Randy just scored five points, brother. And are you ready to put some points on the board, dude? I got two things for you. In the Marine Corps, we say get some. And I have an 11-year-old son back home. He likes a movie called Lord of the Rings. That's going to be my part right here. Get up, get up, baby, get up. Is the contender ready? Gladiator ready? Move! Three, two, one. Ten points to Jay if he can make it to the opposite platform in less than 60 seconds. But you know Wolf is angry and mad and might take it out on Jay. Uh-oh. The contender's in trouble. Gone. Yo, Wolfman, you were on fire up there, brother. It looks like you could have taken on the whole Marine Corps by yourself, dude. Yeah, you know, if you don't have the time to check the clock on that one, he's down. I win. That's pretty strong words from the Lord of the Ring. Yo, Jay, get in here, brother. Five points behind, dude. A big zero. Are you ready to step up? Got to step up now. Big talk like that's just going to get me fired up. I'm not even going to sleep tonight over that. All right, guys. Let's hear a big hoo for Jay. Yeah, baby. After two events, Randy takes a five-point lead over our SWAT cop as the ladies get ready for joust. You know how much I like going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and that's why I love this next event so much. Joust, one of the most popular events here at the arena. Up first is Elena. All right, Elena, you're gonna be colliding with Crush! Is the contender ready? Gladiator ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. We are back in Gladiator Arena, where Elena is about to take on the undefeated Crush in Joust. Ten points to Elena if she can knock the Gladiator into the water. Look at the beating that Crush is putting down. Elena hanging in there, though. No, not anymore. Behold Crush turning Elena into a human bobblehead. All right, Melissa, Crush just unleashed a beating on Elena. Now the pressure's on you to get some points. Now before you get into it with Crush, let's take a moment and get a little inspiration by looking at the monitor. <laughs> uh. 
I can only imagine what having her here does for you. I know, she's my inspiration. She's the reason why I'm so motivated. That little girl is my everything. Is the contender ready? Ready! Gladiator ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Melissa has a chance to become the first lady contender to score tonight. Oh, well, never mind. Crush, too strong. After two events for the ladies, Zeros reign supreme. Oh, we love oh, you. I love you. Oh. I love you. Did good, that babe. was fun. Randy and Jay now take on Gauntlet. Okay, Gladiator Maniacs, let the hitting begin and get ready to make some noise. This is Gauntlet, one of the wildest and toughest events the contenders have to face. All right, man, time for our Gladiators to take it to you. Titan! Toa! Militia! And Justice! We love you, Justice! Well, tell me, Jay, how does a SWAT team leader approach a dangerous situation like this one, brother? I'll tell you what, Hulk, it's pretty simple. From the time we get off the truck, from the time we bang the door, from the time we step out in the back door and we all home safe and sound, the mission's not done. This is the mission right here. This is the mission. Get it done, dude. Right. Let's hear it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get it, baby. Is the tender ready? Gladiator ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, quickly, Jay spins past Titan, blows past Toa, gets past Militia. Now he has to fight through justice. Another spin move, and Jay busts down the back door. Fantastic time as well. The spin move paid off nicely for the SWAT cop. I'm a SWAT team member, what am I gonna do? What do you think I'm gonna do? Ain't no failure, ain't no option to me. All right, Randy, now it's your turn, brother, to tackle the gauntlet. Do you still have enough gas left in that tank to power through all this, brother? You know I do, Hulk. I got all the gas in the world, and I'm gonna pump it all out right now from this end all the way to that end past all these gladiators. I'm ready, let's do it! You can do it, Randy! Contender, ready! Mm. He's not ready! Gladiators, ready! <laughs> Three, two, one! Two points to Randy for every gladiator he can fight through. There's his first two as he gets past Titan. Now, toe to Toa. Oh, Toa putting up a great fight. Finally, Randy gets past him only to take on Militia. Ten seconds! Now to justice with time running out. Yes. 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 Justice is served. Only six points for Randy. Yeah. Yeah. But those six points good for a one-point lead for Randy over Jay. We were cheering at you. I know. Did you see me? Did you see the big man push me down and make it hurt? Next. The season premiere continues with Assault. We'll meet a brand new Gladiator, and the baddest Eliminator ever built is just around the corner. Welcome back to Gladiator Arena, where soon we'll meet the first of tonight's three new Gladiators and unveil the all-new Eliminator. But first, the women take on Assault. The rules of Assault are simple. The contenders need to hit the target and send that Gladiator flying across the arena for 10 big points. First up is Melissa, who'll be taking on the sweetest gladiator of them all, Helga. 
The pigtails are back. Is the contender ready? Ready! Gladiator ready? Ready! Three, two, one! Melissa safely to her first station, the slingshot. First shot fired. Whoa, hit the shield right in front of Helga. That was close. Melissa picks up her first point. She picks up a point for every shot fired. Now she's at the gun. Fired that one away for her second point. Doing a good job avoiding Helga's shots. Now Melissa's got the bazooka in her hand. Oh, right on the shield again. Hits the button for the smoke screen. Melissa looks like she's doing pretty good on time. Now to the crossbow. Oh, wide right, but fires the shot. Good for her fourth point. Five seconds. Oh, and got nailed with seconds left. That's right, baby. It's not her time, it's Helga time. Now it's Elena's turn to try and send Helga for a swim. Is the contender ready? Oh, yeah. Gladiator ready? Ready. Three, two, one. Ten points to Elena. If she can hit that bullseye above Helga's head. One point for every weapon fired. Fairly weak shot off the slingshot, but still scores her first point. On to the gun. Fires the gun for her second point. Takes it safely to the sand pit. Looking for the bazooka. Elena's got it. Oh, she, she's pointing it the wrong way. Wow, almost took out our camera guy. Still got credit for a point though. Onto the crossbow, but time is running out. The shot's away for her fourth point. And time expires. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ready, aim, backfire. With one event left until the all new Eliminator, the Gladiators clearly with the upper hand since the ladies only have four points each. Now we go down to the final men's event before the Eliminator. Here it is. All right, Gladiator Maniacs, are you ready to meet our Gladiators? Yeah, let's go! Jay, you have drawn the massive Justice. Justice, big as ever. You, boy. And Randy, it's time for you to tangle with the awesome Titan. Did somebody say Titan? Randy looks a little frightened. And why not? He's got to take on Titan. Are the contenders ready? Let's go, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gladiators ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Jay in blue. Randy in red. Oh, almost a quick move by Randy. But Titan tosses him aside. Jay's got one knee in the scoring zone, but she's got to get two knees in that scoring zone to pick up five points. Oh, oh, so close. No, no, we don't want to hold on. We want to go down there. Titan talking a lot of trash. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. And Justice throwing Jay down. Right. You gotta make up your mind. You gotta make up your mind. Tough challenge for both these contenders. And the clock is working against them. Go, 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 go! go, go, go. Final hit for Justice on Jay. And they're both done. The Gladiators rule. Hey, he's got my vote.
Randy maintains his one-point lead, and that translates into a half-second head start in the Eliminator. Before we get there, the women take on an all-new Gladiator as they try to conquer our supersized wall. This is the last event for the ladies before they take on Eliminator. More than five stories tall, it's our supersized wall. You've caught glimpses of it all night, but now it's time to see it in action. It's brand new, bigger, rougher, and more challenging than ever before. Welcome to the wall. Their goal is to get to the top in less than 60 seconds with a gladiator in hot pursuit. Elaine, how confident are you in your climbing skills? You know, I'm gonna view this just like climbing a ladder at home. When I got some fire under me and a victim up there, I'm gonna haul all the way up to the end of that wall and hopefully get my 10 points. Ah! All right, ladies, well, you know it'd be hard enough. It was just the two of you racing each other, but you're gonna have some company creeping up on you. Melissa, your competition already gave you a whooping on the pyramid, and she's back for more. Say hello to Venom! Gladiators. She's last year's contender champion. It's Jet. Behold the beauty, speed, and power of our brand new Jet. <laughs> Contenders, you will go on my first whistle. Gladiators, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. A seven second head start for Elena and Melissa. Release the hounds. Elena in red. Being chased by Jet. Venom looking to track down Melissa. Whoa, Elena almost lost it there. Both gladiators nipping at the heels of the contenders. Jet trying to pull the firefighter down off the wall. There's Venom doing the same to Melissa. But Elena's at the top. She's got 10 points. Melissa still has a chance at five points. No, oh, but she slips and she is gone. Elena's experience as a firefighter coming through at the right time. Elena's 10 point lead going into the Eliminator will give her a five second head start on Melissa. Up next, the moment you've all been waiting for. It's bigger, badder, longer. It's the Eliminator. All the action, all the effort, all the bumps and all the bruisers lead here. Our new larger than life eliminator. In just a moment, you guys will run head on head into all new challenges, along with a great equalizer we call the Travelator. But before we get going, check this out, brother. Oh boy, oh boy. Hey Jay, we just wanna wish you good luck. You know you trained for this, you know you're prepared, just go out there and attack. We know you can do it. Jay, if you lose, don't come back. Just quit this job, find a job out there in California. Jay, this is your captain. I want you to take him down like the hoaxer used to do it. Cause brother man, we don't refuse to lose. <laughs> what do you think, my brother? Man, that's gonna get me charged up, man. No doubt about it. Good luck, we'll see you guys at the finish line. Yeah, Let's hear it, guys. Remember, whoever moves on will be that much closer to $100,000 and an anything but ordinary 2008 Toyota Sequoia. Are the contenders ready? Randy, you will go on my first whistle. Jay, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. Here we go. The new Eliminator. The underwater swim longer than before. 
Both contenders dead even as they begin that 30-foot climb up the cargo net. Like Jay's having some trouble on the climb. Randy's already at the top, loses the goggles. Moves on to the rope swing. Oh, and he makes it across. While Jay is just struggling to get to the top. Onto the tightrope for Randy. A lot of agility and balance required. Oh, Jay cannot make it across on the rope swing, and that'll cost him major time. There goes Randy. Into that grueling hand bike. We all remember that. Randy across it in one try. Now to maintain balance on the spinning barrel, and he does that too. Randy looking great, while Jay is struggling. There he goes. Randy to the top of the zip line. And Jay trying to play catch up on the tightrope. Randy finishing on the teeter-totter and aggressively attacks the Travelator. But the Travelator could be Jay's last hope. Jay hoping that Randy struggles and he slips. This could be an opportunity for Jay, but Randy fights his way through, makes it through the Travelator on one try. Jay just trying to finish. And Randy does finish through the banner and into the water. That's what the new Eliminator can do to you. It's all about pride now for Jay. Yo, I guess you can say the Gladiator Arena is full of Randy Maniacs, brother. How does it feel to come to a crashing victory, brother? It feels great, Hall. I did it. I knew I could do it. That was everything I had. That was my family. That was my friends. I did it! I did it! Brother, you got the bar set at 206, man. 206, maybe nobody can catch you. How do you feel, brother? I'm ecstatic with my performance, huh? I said I wanted to be the first in that war, the first in this event, and I did it! I made it! Let me go! Woo! Randy's time of two minutes and six seconds, plenty of reason to celebrate with his family. When we come back, the ladies will take their turn on the Eliminator. Welcome back to Gladiator Arena, where the ladies are about to tackle the Eliminator. And coming up, we'll see four more contenders, another new event, and two all-new Gladiators. But first, let's go down to Eliminator, where Elena will have a five-second head start. Whistle. Melissa, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. The underwater swim, longer and more demanding than before. He landed the first to the cargo net. Here comes Melissa. Looks like Elena's struggling a little bit. So much for that five second head start. These ladies are dead even right now. Oh, look at that. They both get to the top of the cargo net at the exact same time. Both grab the rope swing. Oh, this is a great race. Neck and neck as they navigate their way across the tightrope. Now to that grueling hand bike. A much higher price to pay if you let go. As Elena finds out, Melissa hanging tough, fighting through it. That upper body strength coming through for Melissa. She now takes the lead and goes down the barrel roll.
still, this race is super tight. Down the zip line for Melissa. Here comes Elena. Their legs are jelly at this point, but they gotta maintain their balance through the teeter-totter. And now the Travelator, and Melissa misses on her first try, as does Elena. You gotta keep your feet underneath your body when you take on the Travelator. Both women look exhausted. And neither can grab a hold. There goes Elena. Oh, she has a chance. She's looking good. Oh, no, she didn't keep her feet moving. Elena goes down. And Melissa goes up, but she too loses her feet. The pain, the agony, the fatigue. Which one of these contenders will have it in them to finish? There goes Melissa. Oh no, she slips again. But this time, she's back up. This time, she's through it. Elena can only watch as Melissa reaches the top of the steps. Bust through the batter and into the water to become the first lady winner of the all-new Eliminator. Now, we told you it was rougher and tougher, and now you know that we were not lying. How do you feel now that you're finally done? You have to feel good. Exhausted, retired, and happy. Oh, my God. Randy and Melissa prove they are anything but ordinary by being the first to conquer the new brutal eliminator in the Toyota Sequoia Anything But Ordinary winning moment. Stay tuned, America. The action is just getting started with another hour featuring two more new gladiators and one new event. Plus, an American gladiator first as para-Olympian John Siciliano battles against the greatest athletes in the world in an emotional, inspirational round of competition. This is the first time since I lost my leg that I've played tackle football. Ah! It's all about to happen right here, yeah. right now, on American Gladiator. Ah! Time now to meet our second group of contenders in tonight's competition. First up for the ladies, Vanessa Warren. My name is Vanessa Warren, I'm 35 years old, and I'm from Colorado Springs, Colorado. I'm a major in the United States Air Force. I've been in the military for 15 years, served 10 years on active duty as a Black Hawk helicopter pilot, and now I am starting a new career with the Air Force Reserves. I wanted to have a family, and, and we did. We started having kids, and it's great. My husband has a special name for me, and he likes to call me Major Pain. The gladiators can expect a storm to be coming, because I got thunder and lightning. Not bad for this Air Force Major. Vanessa's competition for tonight will be Nikki Key. Hey, I'm Nikki Key from Queens, New York. I am 27 years old. The main reason I want to be an American Gladiator is just when you think of American Gladiator, you think of the fastest, the best, you know, superhuman people. And then secondly, to prove something to myself. My biggest theme is, you know, let your fury ignite your passion. I'm addicted to success. Failure is not an option, so succeeding is definitely what I have to do. Now that we've met both contenders, we go down to the floor to Layla, who's standing by with the ladies as they get ready to battle with Pyramid. Yes, it's time for more hard-hitting contact high above the floor on Pyramid, where 10 points go to whoever can get to the top first, and five points if you make it to the scoring zone. Battling the gladiators will be Nikki from Queens and Vanessa, the military mom whose family calls her major pain. Now, Vanessa, you know showing up with a nickname like Major Pain is just asking for it from the gladiators, right? That's right, but I got that name because I can bring it, baby! <laughs> now, Nikki, you're just seconds away from going head to head with the gladiators. How are you feeling right now, nervous? Get it, bring it, let's do it. 
Let me wish both of you ladies good luck because now it's time to bring in your gladiator competition. Nikki, you'll face the overwhelming power of Venom! Venom looking to stay undefeated on that mighty pyramid. Say hello to last year's champion and this year's new gladiator, Jet! Beauty and brawn and overflowing with athletic ability. That's Jet. Jet, does the pyramid look any different from that angle? Oh, it looks a lot sweeter from up here. Contenders, ready! Yeah! Gladiators, ready? Yeah! Ready! Three, two, one! Nikki in red, Vanessa in blue. Come on, bring it, bring it. Nikki taking on Venom. <laughs> Venom throwing her down. Ooh, looked like she landed awkwardly. Nikki's a little slow to get back up. But Come she's on. not giving in. Come on, bring it. Oh, a big throwdown by Jet. The Air Force helicopter pilot cannot get past the Jet. Venom just coiled around Nikki, not letting her go anywhere. These two gladiators refusing to give up any ground at all. Time running out on the contender. Go, go, go. And they come up with nothing. The gladiators rule the pyramid as Vanessa gets pommeled by Jet. And as you'll see here, Mickey rolls her left ankle after being flung down the pyramid by Venom. We'll have to see how much that ankle injury will affect Nikki and the events to come. After taking on Pyramid, both women come up empty. Next, a former para-Olympian takes center stage in Gladiator Arena. One leg, two legs, no legs, men are men. And another new high flying event will be revealed. Welcome back to Gladiator Arena. Now it's time to meet the men who will be battling it out in tonight's competition. First up, Jerry Garcia. I'm Jerry Garcia, 27 years old. I'm holding it down for Long Beach, California. I've been teaching autistic kids for five years now. It's very rewarding. Just little improvements that they've done is big to us. When some people might have thought they weren't capable of doing that, you know? When I was about 14, 15 years old, got in a lot of trouble. I thought it was all about proving yourself, and it took Juvenile Hall to realize that this is not where I want to be. I mean, the only people that were there was my family. The message that I want to send is that it's not too late. It's never too late. Even though I've had a rough childhood growing up, I'm still going to exceed anything I do. Let's go down to Hawk to kick things off with the high flying Hang Tough. Hang Tough is where contenders have to battle gravity and a gladiator at the same time. If they can swing safely from one platform to the other, they'll get 10 points. If our gladiator wraps them up, they'll get a one-way ticket straight down into the water. Up first, we have Jerry. What would it mean to those kids that look up to you if you went all the way, brother? Show them that success is attainable, man. It's all about what's in here, not right here. You can do it. Put your heart, mind to it. You can achieve anything. I love that, brother. But first, you're going to have to keep away from the giant known as Justice. We'll see how long Jerry's smiling when he goes face to face with Justice. Is the contender ready? Ready. Gladiator ready? Three, two, one. 60 seconds for Jerry to try and score 10 points. Justice sounds especially fired up for this hang tough competition. Let it go, boy. Oh, 
Jerry, oh, he avoided major trouble right there. Plenty of options for Jerry. 46 rings in a space of just 300 square feet. All justice is honing in. Look out, Jerry! Goodbye! Like a massive condor, Justice relentlessly and ruthlessly attacks his prey, overpowers Jerry, and tosses him into the drink. Now we meet Jerry's competitor, para-Olympian John Siciliano. I am John Siciliano, 37 years old, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I've been an amputee for, for 15 years now. I was with some buddies, Jeep, no roof, no doors. Bam! The doc comes over. You know, John, you had to amputate your leg five inches above your right knee. And that's when I met a prosthetist and a physical therapist who literally changed my life forever. My confidence was coming back, I'm running, and then I broke the U.S. national 200 meter record and was announced to be on the 1996 Paralympic team. You know, life's not over when you lose a leg. We can be everyday people. We can be contestants on American Gladiators. Let's go down to the floor with Hulk, who's with John as he gets ready to hang tough. Yo, Big John, Jerry's just got a big zero and left the door wide open for you, brother, to take the lead. Are you ready to put some points on the board, brother? I'm ready, Hulkster. I'm ready, buddy. I'm, I'm anxious to get up there and see what I can do against this big guy. Yo, brother, you've accomplished so much as a Paralympic athlete, but you've never really done anything like this before. How do you think you'll adjust, dude? You know, a Paralympic sport is something you train for every day. You, I sprint every day. I know what to expect. It's really hard to train for something like this. So expect the un unexpected and just get up there and hold on. That's why they call it hang tough. Well, dude, to go all the way, you got to do hang tough and survive. So Justice, how do you think you'll do against your first gold medal winner, brother? Well, he wouldn't be here if he couldn't win. Let's get it rocking. Contender, ready! Gladiator, ready! Three, two, one! When it comes to hang tough, the swing is the thing. You need to get a rhythm going. Right now, John looks a little tentative. And who wouldn't be nervous with justice bearing down on you? That's a lot of gladiator coming right at you. Look out. Oh, there he goes. Another one buys the dust. Another one buys the dust. That was one of the most intense things. I'm glad though that the first defense out of the way, you know what to expect when you get out there and what that feels like and just the whole man, this this is not for the weak. Total justice domination, keeping the contenders scoreless after one event. The action continues as the ladies throw down in Gauntlet. Here at the Gauntlet, the only thing that stands between our contenders and 10 points are four beautiful but deadly gladiators who are kind of protective of their territory. Vanessa, you're first up. Are they gonna have any issues to deal with with you? Oh, they got issues with me, baby. 120 pounds of dynamite! <laughs> Well, let's see how you do when these gladiators get their hands on you. Say hello to Venom! And Crush! And one of our newest gladiators, Jet! And the mighty Helga! It's time to go down, baby! Down! The contender ready. Yeah, baby. Gladiators ready. Yeah. Three, two, one. Up first for Vanessa is Venom. Yeah. Come on. Oh, Venom's got her down, but Vanessa is through for her first two points. It's my crush is another matter. 
Four points. Now it's Jet. Six points for Vanessa. Helga, the final roadblock to 10 points. Five seconds. Time's running out. Oh, go. she makes it and through with a second and a half to spare. Just in the nick of time. I know now why you got the nickname. You put some major pain on those gladiators. How did it feel to knock right by them? That was awesome. You had to bring me something bigger all off the wall. Oh! What that woman needs is a little enthusiasm. The crowd loves it as Vanessa withstands some major pain. Coming up, a brand new gladiator will battle contenders teetering 30 feet above the floor in the brand new event, Vertigo. Plus, John, the para-Olympian, prepares to go on the ride of his life. Welcome back to Gladiator Arena. Unfortunately for Nikki Key, she will be unable to continue in the competition due to the ankle sprain that she suffered on Pyramid. Bad news for her, good news for her replacement. I'm Nikki Smith. I'm 34 years old from Yucaipa, California. I teach sixth grade. My kids, Mason and Julia, are so excited about me doing this show. They're just like, yeah, we know you can do it, Mom. My father was a huge influence in my life. He recently passed away from leukemia. And, um, you know, that's been very hard. Um, I watched American Gladiators as a child with my father. It was so awesome. And, you know, he is looking down on me. He's so excited for me just to make it this far. I know he is. Gladiators, I am not your normal PTA mom. I'm down to get dirty because I'm here to do this. She's raring to go and standing by with Layla. Yes, we're losing one Nikki, but gaining another. Nikki Smith, you're gonna pick up where Nikki Key left off. Now, unfortunately, she left you with zero points to inherit. And wouldn't you know it, the first gladiator you're running into is the one that put Nikki out of commission. How are you gonna handle it? I am here to rock this. I'm not just an ordinary little school teacher. I'm here to fight. All right, well, yeah. it's all on you, Nikki. Yeah. Good luck. Hey. <laughs> Is the contender ready? Ready, Anders, ready? Yeah. Woo! Three, two, one. Venom is a tough way to start for our replacement contender, but Nikki gets past her quickly. Showing a lot of spirit and energy to get past Crush for four points. Blows past Jet. Oh! Hello, Helga. Nikki not giving up at all. Gets past Helga to her feet and through the wall. A great start for Nikki. <laughs> Nikki steps right in and shows the gladiators and Vanessa she's ready to go. Now it's time for the men to go sky high in the brand new game of Rocket Ball. Who said man isn't supposed to fly in this unreal new event? Contenders will be launched and rocketed right into the sky where they'll try to score as many points as they can by tossing balls into those baskets. Yellow baskets are worth one point. The higher red basket is worth two points. John, Jerry, let's bring in the team that's ready to bring it back down to earth. Let's have a gladiator arena welcome for the always powerful Titan and the howling wolf. Contenders, ready! Great. Gladiators, ready! Oh! Three, two, one! There they go! Oh, nice work by the contenders. Each quickly with their first point. Woo! Look out! That looked like a hard hit from Titan on John. Come on! 
Go, baby, go! Grab the ball! Rocket ball is all about timing your launches correctly. Boom! Just like Jerry did right there with two points in the red. Keep going! Go! 30 seconds left. Watch yourself! Hold me! Oh no! John launched without a ball. It's easy to get confused. There's so much going on out there. There he goes. Oh, my! Oh, come on, I want to hit somebody. Final few seconds. Go, go! There we go! Watch yourself! Oh, look at Jerry beat the buzzer. He finishes with five. Jerry, Soren, and Scorin to not only beat Wolf with the finger roll, but to beat the buzzer. After two events, Jerry jumps out to a 5-1 lead over John. Now it's time for the ladies to hold on tight. They'll be competing 30 feet above the arena floor in Vertigo. Welcome to Vertigo, another pulse-pounding new gladiator event we're unveiling this season. In Vertigo, one contender and one gladiator race across the top of 30-foot sway poles. Contenders earn five points if they make it to the scoring zone, 10 points if they can beat the gladiator to the end. Now, Nikki, I've been stepping out and earning 10 quick points in Gauntlet. The only thing standing between you and doubling your score is either the fear of heights or the gladiator. Which one concerns you more? I am kind of afraid of heights, so I'm just going to have to get over that fear, and I know that I'm going to do this. Are you guys ready to meet one of our new gladiators? Let's have a gladiator welcome for the beautiful Behold, the Phoenix. Is the contender ready? Gladiator ready? Ready! Three, two, one. First, they have to scale that 30-foot pole. Need to start and establish a good rhythm. Phoenix has it. Nikki is struggling. Come on, Nikki, come on! Ooh, Phoenix full of fire in her Gladiator debut. While Nikki's fear of heights is becoming a problem. Can she get to that scoring zone before Phoenix finishes the race? What do you think? Nikki's one pole away. But Phoenix finishes and denies Nikki. Now it's time for Vanessa to face off with Phoenix in Vertigo. Is the contender ready? Oh! Gladiator ready? Ready! Three, two, one! A fear of heights should not be a problem for a major in the Air Force, such as Vanessa. But she's already fallen behind Phoenix. Look at our new Gladiator just rock and roll down Vertigo. As for Vanessa, only five feet, two inches tall. Looks like that's working against her in this event. Come on! Our new gladiator just cruising to a strong finish. Ready? It's over. Phoenix with the shutout. With just one event remaining before Eliminator, Vanessa and Nikki tied at 10 points. Up next, the men square off in Powerball. This is the first time since I lost my leg that I've played tackle football. Ah! Then they'll take on an all-new gladiator on the bigger, badder wall. We are back at Gladiator Arena. 
tighten your chin straps and hold on because up next for the man is the hard-hitting Powerball. After hang tough and rocket ball, this is the first game where your leg's gonna get a real workout. You still have the moves to make it work here in Powerball, brother. I guess we'll find out. This is the first time in 15 years since I lost my leg that I've played tackle football here in Gladiator Arena. Oh! Here's the team that will stop at nothing to make sure that both of you guys are flat on your back. Here comes the awesome Toa, Titan, and Militia. Team on Jerry. Tighten all over John. You got this, you got this. Go on, stop, ready, go! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Toa just cleared out Jerry. Militia put down John. Powerball more difficult this season with the scoring holes smaller and the court larger. Go, baby. 30 seconds. You got this, you got it. Toa with another great tackle. John looking to pick up some momentum. Oh, it works! He scores the first point. Jerry just misses his point. Everything you got. Final few seconds. Get up, go! You got this. Oh, John's great effort a little too late. The Gladiators ruthless, but showing great sportsmanship. That is Good awesome. Job. Good job, man. The Gladiators relentless in their pursuit of the contenders. Ooh! Giving up just one point to John in this hard-hitting round of Powerball. Wow, it's emotional. Look at me, it's emotional. <laughs> that was, uh, it felt good to get that back, you know? That felt really good. With just one event before Eliminator, John hopes to erase his three-point deficit. Now it's time to see how the women will do at Powerball. You guys are still tied at 10. Vanessa, are you ready to dish out some pain right here? Oh, this game rocks. Some girls like puppy dogs and pink bows. I like speed and violence, baby, so I'm gonna bring it. Let's bring out our gladiators. We're gonna be rushing you guys till you can't take it anymore. Here come the awesome Jet, Helga, and Venom. This game of Powerball, the last chance for the ladies to score points before Eliminator. Are the contenders ready? Gladiators ready? Three, two, one. Vanessa in blue and quickly scores her first point. Nikki in red and taken down by Venom. Jet with a beautiful tackle on Nikki. Nikki scores her first point. One point for the outer pods, two points for the center pod. There goes Nikki with her second point. Venom takes down Vanessa. Don't forget Helga guarding that center pod. Oh, another beautiful effort by Jet to plant Vanessa. Nikki double teamed by Jet and Helga while Venom works on Vanessa. Awesome. Good job. That was good. Woo! 
going into the Eliminator. Nikki's one-point lead is good for a half-second head start. Up next for the men, it's bigger than it ever was, The Wall. John, you're paired with a man-eating animal that has absolutely no conscience, the Big Bad Wolf! All right, Jerry, you're about to have a brand new gladiator on your trail. Crowd, please help me welcome contender champion turn gladiator, it's Rocket! A super sonic addition to the gladiator team. Yeah, yeah baby, yeah. yeah! Oh, it's good to be here! Yeah, baby! Yes. Now, Wolf, you've got to be happy working with him instead of chasing him, right? I chased this guy up the wall like three times last season and couldn't catch him. I'm glad that I don't have to deal with him anymore and I feel really bad for you. Bring it. You got this, John! Oh my God! Come on, baby, you got this! Are the contenders ready? Ready. Gladiators ready? Yes. Welcome back to American Gladiators, where John and Jerry are ready to take on our new and bigger wall. Chasing down John will be Wolf. And on the heels of Jerry, last year's champion turned Gladiator Rocket. Contenders, you will go on my first whistle. Gladiators, you will go on my second whistle. Whatever. Three, two, one. And the contenders are off. John has been outfitted with a prosthetic specially designed for climbing. Here come the gladiators. This season's wall, 50 feet high. John doing well, keeping his distance from Wolf. Jerry close at the top, but Rocket closing in. Oh, he's got him. Jerry is gone. Yes! Yes! Jerry! Oh, watch out, John. Here comes Wolf. Oh, he's gone too. That's right. oh. Yeah! Yeah, baby! Woo! Woo! Jerry maintains his lead, which will translate into a second and a half head start when they hit the eliminator. Next up, the moment you've all been waiting for. The women face the most brutal and punishing obstacle course ever built. It's time for Eliminator. Now the time has finally come for Nikki Smith and Vanessa Warren to go straight up against each other on our spirit-breaking eliminator to see who will take the big step towards the next round, $100,000 in a 2008 Toyota Sequoia. It's time for the eliminator, guys. Two strong contenders. Will it be Vanessa, the Air Force major, or Nikki, the school teacher? Are the contenders Ready! Nikki, you will go on my first whistle. Vanessa, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. The underwater swim twice as much fire and much longer than last season, and Nikki needs to come up for air while Vanessa continues with her swim. They're dead even as they begin the 30-foot climb up the cargo net. Nikki in red, Vanessa in blue, and Nikki is taller. Her height advantage might help on this climb. Both these moms feeling the exhaustion and fatigue setting in. Oh, Nikki goes down hard off the rope swing while Vanessa makes it across. Her military experience coming through in the Eliminator. There, Nikki makes it. Vanessa down the tightrope. Oh, Nikki almost slipped off, but she is right there with Vanessa. Up next, the hand bike. The grueling test of upper body strength. Oh, Vanessa is fatigued. Nikki looks the same as they both fall into the ball pit.
Mickey out of the ball pit first. Takes the lead. Oh, that had to hurt. The rolling pin, mighty tough, and Vanessa slides off too. The climb up pyramid. They are neck and neck. It is anybody's race right now. The teeter-totter, where balance is a must. Too bad their legs are just shot. Vanessa seems frozen in time while Nikki's down to the bottom. Oh, but look at Vanessa, using the momentum from the teeter-totter to scale up the travelator, keeping her feet moving. She is through on one attempt. Nikki's still stuck on the travelator, while Vanessa grabs the rope and busts through the banner to win. Major Payne through the Eliminator in three minutes, 24 seconds. The Big V in the house, my brothers. Vanessa Mania tore it down. You never stutter step, you tackled a Travelator in one sneaky, swift move. You were awesome. What was your plan all the way through? I'm a good hill runner, so I knew my strength would come at the end where everybody had trouble. And I came ready to rock that one. If I could beat that, I can take it. The crowd cheers on Nikki to finish what she started. Vanessa enjoys a victory hug from her kids and her husband. Thank you. Coming up next, the man take on Eliminator is a highly motivated Jerry. That's 100 grand on the line. I want that. It's mine. Battles John, who will push himself to the limit like never before. I am scared a little bit. It's going to be really tricky to pull this off. But if there's anyone who can do this, it is me to give it a shot. Welcome back to the season premiere of American Gladiators, where we've met three new gladiators and witnessed two new events. Now the time has come for John to take on one of the biggest challenges of his life as he battles Jerry on the grueling Eliminator. John readies himself for a monumental task. Jerry will have a second and a half head start. Are the contenders ready? Let's get ready! Jerry, you will go on my first whistle. John, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one! A tough challenge for both of these contenders. They're both right there together. Jerry climbing up the net. John's titanium prosthetic. Could pose a mighty challenge for him with this net climb. Oh, look at Jerry already to the top. On the rope swing and across. Jerry's doing a great job. John still fighting, showing a fantastic spirit. Oh, he's to the top. Outstanding effort. Jerry quickly across on the hand bike. And down the rolling pin. He is doing great. And so is John as he completes the rope swing. Down the zip line for Jerry. Doing great on time. Another large challenge for John, the tightrope. Down the teeter-totter for Jerry. Great, great job by John. Here goes Jerry on the menacing Travelator, doing a good job of keeping this beat moving. Oh, no. Thought he had it. Oh, the hand bike. Too much for John. Jerry again on the Travelator. Got to keep the feet moving. Got to keep the feet moving. He does. He is through. 
up the steps. John still fighting hard. Jerry is through the banner in 303. Great job by Jerry. And now the crowd turns their attention to John. He is focused on completing what he came here to do. Down the zip line. On to the teeter-totter. Digging deep for whatever energy he has left. Now for his final obstacle. He's just looking for whatever energy he has left. Almost there that time. The crowd also determined not to let John give up. Oh, this could be it. Standing young man. What an inspiration, ladies and gentlemen. He has done it. Exhausted. <laughs> I was close until we hit the net. Great job, man. Great job. <laughs> My arms were just burnt coming up that net. It took everything I had. Um, that was extremely difficult. When you're sitting at home on TV watching that thing, you have no idea how hard that thing is. But I finished. I finished. I'm happy I finished. Yes, you did. You did a great job. You know how many people you inspired watching you do that? Uh, thank you. Uh, that's, that's really nice. Uh, there's no excuse, whatever you want to do, just get up and do it. And I hope I just proved that you can do anything. You can finish the Eliminator on one leg. <laughs> well, you know something, my brothers? Triple props to you, my man. You tore it up, you tore it down. You made everybody in the Gladiator Arena very proud, my brother. I got to raise everybody's hand. That's right. This was let's the greatest Eliminator of all times. So let's hear it, Gladiator Maniacs. In this Toyota Replay moment, we salute Vanessa and Jerry as tonight's winners. But it was John who proved that he's anything but ordinary as he inspired everyone here in Gladiator Arena with his courage and tenacity. Next Monday, American Gladiators returns with more action, new events, and bigger spills. As four cops go head-to-head -head in the competition that will push their friendships and their bodies to the extreme. I was just praying I survived. This season, it just gets better as ordinary men and women go head-to-head -head against your favorite gladiators. With new events and new gladiators, it will test them with things they have never faced. All, of course, culminating in the new Eliminator, the most grueling obstacle course ever assembled. We're just getting started. American Gladiators is here to stay. Only one man and one woman can win the ultimate glory. Who will it be? See you next Monday, 8 o'clock, 7 Central.